Now, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. And in this video, I'm just going to take a look at the Kaiwitz lead set that I purchased alongside the KM601 and the HT2080 clamp meter. And I'm going to compare them to the Probe Master leads that I also purchased recently. So, the set of leads from Kaiwitz are the KET011. Uh, they come in a little plastic container there, along with a set of accessories that are also contained in a smaller plastic case. Uh, in the UK, these are available from Amazon for £19. The Pro Masters, this set is the 8044S set. They come in a couple of Ziploc bags, one for the leads themselves, and the second one here for all of its accessories. And in the UK, they're available from Simon's Electronics for around about £38, so double the price of the set of leads from Kaiweets. So accessory-wise, for the Kaiweets leads here, check this lot out here. Let's say it comes in its own little plastic container that does fit inside the container for the leads if you coil the leads up tight enough. Um, you get two crop clips. Uh, these are tinned surface on these. You get spade terminals that are also tinned surface. Uh, you get a set of probe tips. I guess these will be more standard multimeter probe tips that you're expected to see again tin plated on those. You get two sets of, I presume these are gold plated tips, um, which are much narrower tips than standard multimeter tips and a set here for them a spare set and then I've got a set actually installed in the leads themselves um, you get a set of GS38 protected probe tips and you get a set of banana adapters for use with the crop clips and the spade terminals there and you get the little spanner to screw the accessories in and out of the probes themselves. For the um, uh, probe master units, uh, so you get a set of crop clips as well. Looks like these are gold plated. Uh, then you get a set of spade terminals that are got two holes inside of these as opposed to the single diameter hole for Kaiwitz units there, and you get a set of hook terminals. And again, these are gold plated as well, by the looks of it. And to convert the probe tips to GS38 protected tips, you get these two plastic covers that screw on. So, to use these accessories with the leads themselves. Probe Master, these just screw on, so whichever accessory you want, you screw him on. And there's him, and you can screw him on there. There's that one there. So fairly quick and easy to use with these accessories. The probe tips on this stay fixed inside the leads. Uh, to convert this to GS38 protection, there's your cap there. And there you have it. Got a red one on as well, so fairly quick and easy to use the accessories with these leads. So there you go there. On the other hand, these Kaiweets, you get your little spanner out and you have to undo the accessory that's fitted that unscrews. Uh, so there's that one. And then I guess to convert this to GS38, I'd have to screw that one in there. There you go, that's GS38 Pro tip. You see there is more tip actually showing with the Pro Master there. Let's get something out and measure that. Just see what that is, that actual fat. 
So it should be for GS38, it should be a maximum of 4 mil. Uh, what's that one there? Yeah, so we're over 5 mil on the ProMaster, so that isn't. That's not GS38 compliant. Um, see the differential there. For Kai Wheats, let's get him there. And he's dropping, he's just a fraction over 4 mil. Uh, okay. So let's stick one of the other accessories in uh, the black lead here. So you have to screw in the banana accessory. Nip him up with the spanner. And then you can plug on either the crop clip or the spade terminal, whichever one you want. Um, so a little bit more long-winded to uh, use the accessories with Kai Wheat's leads than it is. Uh, it's a bit more straightforward with the Pro Master leads, I would say, uh, in my opinion. Let's check that out of the way. Uh, Lengthwise, the leads are pretty much the same length. I think these are slightly longer, but there's not a significant amount in it really. Let's take one of the leads out. Um, it's got a pro tip on there. Um, so there, probe to probe there. I think when you measure them, uh, let's come out so you can see, yeah, there's three, three, four inches uh, difference in the leads. The kite's been slightly longer, but it's just, it's not worth talking about really. Um, now, as I have the jacks on this, uh, the retractable shrouds on this that are also gold plated as well. Um, these are standard tinned on the Kiowit set. Um, ProMaster do do a set with the right angled 4mm adapters on them if you want them. I just wanted a set with the retractable shrouds so that was my own personal choice but they are available from ProMaster should you prefer that kind of jack on the end. Um, well that's that lead there. And so what we'll do, out of curiosity, we'll set up a resistance meter and we'll make some resistance measurements on the leads and see if there's any differential between them. Okay, so we're set up to make some resistance measurements on all the leads. We'll try with just the probe tips first. We're set to four wire measurement on the source meter here and we're going to inject 0 0.05 amps, 500 milliamps through the lead and see what resistance values we get. Uh, so there's the red lead and we've got 0 0.0247 yeah, 0 0.0247 ohms on the red lead. Let's just unplug that one and we'll try the black lead which is over here. Hiding around the corner there. Let's plug him in. And 0 0.024 again, 2 point, 0 0.0243 on this one. So pretty close. Can't complain at that, can you? Uh, let's call him up. Let's go for the red lead on the Kai Wheats. And I have the thin uh, gold plated probe tip screwed into these. Now the leads are slightly longer, but they're also slightly fatter as well. But I'm not sure whether that's insulation or copper. Uh, we've got 0 0.0262 on that one. So slightly higher, but nothing to worry about there really, is there? Let's try the black one. And then when we've done these, we'll screw some accessories onto probes and give them a try. And 0 0.0270 against 
0.0263 for the other one. But again, nothing of any significance really, no differential. So that's all good. Right, bear with me whilst I screw some accessories onto the leads. Okay, so we are set up with the crocodile clips fitted to the red test leads. We're on the Roadmaster lead here, and you can see we've got a reading of 0 0.0249. So not much difference between that and when you were just measuring it straight off the probe tip there, really. So we'll swap over to the Kai weights and see how well that one does. Out of the way, put my Kai weights on. And 0 0.028 from, from 0 0.027. So again, nothing to worry about there, is there? So even though you've got a bit more of an accessory arrangement on the Kai weights, there's no real increase in lead resistance in comparison to the method used with the uh, ProMaster leads, but what we'll just try uh, is the leads now with um, the spade terminal on there. And what I will just do is use a slightly different arrangement just so I use the spade aspect of the terminal rather than a crop clip aspect. So I'll plug him in there and then we'll actually put this, we will put this onto the spade terminal there. Not sure how well you'll see that. And point 0.023 on that one. Let's just zoom in around a little bit. Bit of a messy arrangement on the instrument. Um, but yeah, so no qualms about that one. Let's go for the same arrangement on the Kai Wheats lead. So I see these uh, are not gold plated accessories on the Kai Wheats. Sense lead back on. Um, 0 0.027, pretty much the resistance that you had with just a probe tip in there. So, again, no real difference between this set of leads with the standard tinned accessories and the gold plated accessories of the Probe Masters. Yeah, okay. Let's just unplug him. Oops, shouldn't have done that, should I? Okay, so just for a final comparison, uh, what I've done here is just use the standard multimeter tinned probe tip on the black Kai Wheats lead here. So we'll look at that one. 0.267, sorry, 0 0.0267. Um, so yeah, that's all looking good, isn't it? No real issue there with the resistances on any of these leads and fairly comparable across all the boards. I'll stick a little table up so you can see uh, what the exact measurements were uh, and compare them to one another if you like. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with both sets of leads. Kai Wheats leads, I actually plan to put them in my protection test set. Primarily, I accept that it does take a little bit longer to swap the accessories over on these, the use of the spanner and threading and re-threading everything uh, in comparison to just being able to screw accessory straight onto the lead for the probe masters but when you're protection testing things are fairly slow and, and drawn out anyway so it won't make much of a difference to that kind of a job the probe master leads i'm going to leave them in amongst all the accessories i have for when i'm testing out uh, a meter particularly with the ohms and continuity function on some of the cheaper instruments that i use to see if there's a difference between the cheap leads that come with them and uh, gold plated leads like the probe master Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful.
and I'll see you again in the next one.